Hi, YouTube! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to head out to run a couple errands. I'm going to go to Target, but I wanted to show you my little outfit of the day. So I'm just wearing a little jean jacket. I think this is from TJ Maxx. I got it like a year or two ago. And then I do have my star necklace on, which all of you guys ask about. I got this from Urban Outfitters. I have this really cute taupe um, t-shirt with a little pocket, which is from Pink Blush. And it's so soft and comfortable. I'll link everything down below. And then I just have regular Old Navy uh, maternity leggings on. They're the ones that go under the belly. And then just some Adidas sneakers. It feels so good to finally like be out because you guys know I've been so sick lately and I'm finally feeling better, thank goodness. But I did want to say this vlog is sponsored by Scentbird, which is such a cool subscription service if you are into perfumes. Y'all know that I don't have a signature scent and I always like switching up my perfumes because I get sick of perfumes so easily. I will spend so long in Sephora sniffing all the perfumes and then just get a headache <laughs> and not find one that I love. So I recently got into Scentbird and what Scentbird is is a subscription service. They will send you a 30 day supply perfume that comes in, first of all, this cute little velvet pouch that's adorable and then it will come in this little thing right here. All you do is pop it up and you spray. Oh my God, this one smells so good. Oh. Um, and so if you want to see like which scent it is, this one is Burberry Brit Sheer. And then you can just twist it and it closes. It's so cool. You can throw it in your purse or your bag or whatever. But the cool thing about Scentbird is they have all designer, like, high-end perfumes to choose from. I think they have over 450 cents. And so each month they let you choose a new perfume for just $15. So another one that I'm trying out is... Ooh, the Bella by Vince Camuto. I've heard amazing things about this perfume. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So I really wanted to try this one. And then the last one that I am trying, I like this color. How cute is that? It's like a little rose gold coppery color. Um, this one is Dolce & Cabana Light Blue, which is such a staple. I feel like everyone loves this scent. And so I wanted to try this one out too. So those are the three that I'm trying right now, but... If you guys do want to try out Scentbird for yourselves, you can use my code LIZA30 and that will give you 30% off your first perfume. So that is only $10 for the month to try out a Scentbird perfume. So definitely check them out. I will have a link and the coupon code down below for you guys. Okay, so updates, updates, updates. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a little bit. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram, I have been so sick with such a nasty cold. I actually thought I was coming down with either pneumonia or bronchitis at one point, so I did go to the doctors, and thankfully I didn't have those. Um, she just said it was a nasty cold, and I was just going through the motions of it. So I still have a bit of a cough. Um, but I think it's going away because I feel so much better today. Camden and Alex both were sick as well, but they're both over it. Alex's cold lasted literally like two days. He's just so healthy and I think he has a really good immune system. And since I'm pregnant, obviously my cold is going to like linger and go on forever because my immune system is so low. But, um, Cam's lasted maybe like a week. Thank God he's better. I hate when he's sick. I know y'all probably know what I mean. When your kids are sick, it's like the worst thing ever. I just feel so bad. But everyone seems to be good on the mend, getting better, and I'm just so happy to finally be out of the house. So my photographer from my wedding, she did my engagement pictures and my wedding pictures, and she actually did my maternity photo shoot when I was pregnant with Camden too. So she's done like everything. She is um, coming into town and she is going to do a little maternity photo shoot for me. And I think 
we're gonna try to get the cherry blossoms but you guys I've had such a hard time finding a dress like such a hard time I was going to rent one from the brand Philly boo which makes like gorgeous boho inspired like dresses but I was too late and um, I didn't order it in time and now they're like sold out so I found a dress on um, what is the website it's this really cute online boutique oh I think it's called red dress red dress boutique or something like that I found a really gorgeous maxi dress I'm praying that it fits because it's not a maternity dress but I think that I can get away with it so I ordered that and hopefully it'll be here in time for the photo shoot but I'm gonna have to go to the mall soon anyway just to have like a backup option in case it doesn't come and then I do plan on getting some pictures of Camden with me so I have to go I think I'm gonna go to Janie well, right now I'm gonna look in Target and see if they have any cute stuff for him but if they don't, I need to head over to Janie and Jack at some point and find a cute little outfit for him for the photo shoot. And I'm just hoping he cooperates. I'm hoping. When you are under the weather, getting caught in the storm, do you remember? I told you if we dance in the blizzard, we are not getting cold. So keep on dancing, baby. I definitely just spent $150 at Target, which I was not planning to do, but it happens when you go to Target. So I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys when I get home. I had to get my one of my best friend's daughters her third birthday gift. So I was in there, like in the girls section for so long because if I ever have to go to a little girl's birthday party, I don't go straight for the toys. I go for like the clothes and the shoes because I'm not able to buy girls clothes and they're so cute so I always end up getting like little outfits or shoes or whatever but I was picking out like these actually really adorable shoes for her and then I like started thinking about it and I'm like she's a little kid and I'm sure she would rather have like a toy to play with you know so I didn't want to be selfish so I put the shoes back and I ended up getting her this really cute toy that I'll show you guys. I also found the perfect shoes for Camden for the maternity photo shoot. I hope they fit his feet because I just ordered him some new natives for the summer. You guys know like I swear by natives he wears them every single summer and so I bought him a new pair for the summer but I got them in a 10 because I figured right now he's like I think he's a size 9. He's like almost a size nine. And I was like, oh, a 10 isn't that much bigger. Like he can at least wear them throughout the summer. And then if his feet grow, like he'll have those shoes to last him all through fall. So then they got here and they're way too big. Like his heels are flipping out of them. Like he just can't wear them. So I have to take him back to Nordstrom, which is where I got them. I also order them on Amazon all the time, but they didn't have this exact print that I wanted. Also, I was thinking about filming a like spring and summer clothing haul um, of all the things that I've gotten recently for Camden because I went on like a shopping spree at oldnavy.com and found some really cute stuff. I think I got a few things from Gap too, and then I just picked up a few things from Target. And I'm probably gonna keep like buying him things here and there. Like he needs some new swimsuits and stuff like that. So that stuff should be coming in soon. If you guys do wanna see a spring and summer clothing haul for like little boys, let me know down below and I will film that for you guys. But his birthday is around the corner. He's gonna be three. I cannot believe it. I can't believe my little baby's gonna be three years old, but I finally got around to planning something for him. I wasn't gonna do a birthday party, you guys. Like, I did a birthday, a big blowout birthday party for his first and second birthday. So I was like, oh, it's his third birthday. We'll just do something at home, like, you know, get some cake and maybe like go out and do something fun. But I wasn't gonna do a party. And then like, I don't know what came over me. I was like, I'm just gonna do a party. Like he would be so excited, whatever. So I ended up planning a little birthday party for him. Um, and it's at this really cool play place. It's like indoors, but it's like the theme of the whole place is outdoors. I don't really have a theme. I think it's gonna be like Young Wild in three, cause I just thought that was really cute. And I got him a little outfit 
for his birthday that's adorable. So when that comes in, I cannot wait to show you guys what the outfit looks like. It's so freaking cute. But as far as like a theme, um, the little party room that I rented out inside this play place, I can like bring my own decor or I can have them decorate it with one of their themes and they have like dinosaurs, like superheroes, stuff like that. But I'm, I don't know, I just didn't want to do any of that. I think I might just go to the party store or look on Amazon and just like pick up a bunch of just cute little boy party decor and just decorate it myself. Okay, you guys, so I am gonna try and talk quietly because Camden is still napping and I don't want to wake him up. But I got some of his favorite Kid Fresh chicken meatballs, just a huge bag of them. They don't have these in my regular grocery store, so whenever I go to Target, I have to snag them. And then just some Stonyfield organic yogurt. This is the strawberry beet berry, which he loves. I usually don't get the whole milk one. I get the... Um, I think like the low fat one, but he loves this flavor. And then I found his favorite mini pancakes, which are just the organic uh, Earth's Best ones with blueberry. He loves these. I found this adorable little necklace. I usually wear like uh, necklaces that have a C for Camden. I, I don't think I have anything with an L like for my own name, but I saw this and just thought it was really cute because... Um, I'm actually getting something personalized with my boys' names on them. I'm so excited to share that with you guys when it comes in. So I figured I would just get myself a little something, and I think this is so beautiful. And then I needed more deodorant, so I picked up my favorite native. I'm obsessed with native deodorant, and I cannot believe I ran out. Um, but I've been, like, scraping <laughs> the actual, like, container of my last one. And so I picked the lavender and rose up, which smells so good. All right, as far as Camden, I bought him these cute little light sky blue suspenders. He has really adorable like baby blue shorts from Janie and Jack that I think I'm gonna have him wear for the shoot. And then these go with them. And then I got him a little white Oxford. This is only $12.99 from Janie and Jack, or from Cat and Jack. Um, his shorts though are from Janie and Jack. I always get those two brands confused because of the Jack. <laughs> But I think I'm going to have him wear this with the cute little shorts and then the suspenders. And then I got him these shoes to go with them. They're just like a light gray suede. I think they're so sweet looking. I think these will be perfect. And then I might go get him like some kind of cute little hat. I'm not sure yet, but that's what I have so far. And then you guys, I'm obsessed with this little like windbreaker jacket for him. Um, it's so lightweight and it's perfect for spring and I loved the colors like you have I don't know if this is like a black or a navy blue This might be a really deep navy blue and then like this beautiful salmon color and then an olive green um, This is from Genuine Kids by Oshkosh and I got him a 3T and it was $21.99 and then this is the toy that I got my friend's daughter for her birthday. Um, I thought it was so cute because it's called Bella, my kissing puppy, and her name is Lexi Bella, so I thought this was like adorable. And she licks you when you press the nose. Look how cute that is. <laughs> it's so cute. I think it's like a little Sharpay or something. Um, I love all the little wrinkles, but anyway, I just thought it was adorable, so I got her this little puppy, and then just uh, some wrapping stuff and a card. So that's everything I got at Target. It really wasn't that much, but it ended up being pretty expensive. Um, and then let me show you guys the native shoes that I ended up getting. So there are these really adorable star print. Uh, this is like a new print. Camden has the light blue natives with the stars and like the red trim from last summer, but they don't fit him anymore, obviously. I will link these down below um, if you guys wanna check them out, but please don't buy all the nines because I'll be so sad. Every single day I clean this room and every single day he dumps his toys out and it becomes a mess. It's just total toddler life, but I don't know what I'm gonna do when I have another little one and he's got like his swing and his like little rocker and everything. It's gonna be so hard. And I have to fold those towels, I know. They've been there for like a week. But a lot of you guys said that I should utilize the basement and make it a playroom, but honestly, like, I, it's just not my thing. I just don't wanna go in the basement all day. Like, I wanna be up here where the kitchen is and like my stuff is. Hopefully we will be moving soon, you guys. Mom? Yeah, honey. 
I do remember those. So excited my snuggle me organic lounger just got here oh my god it's so pretty so I got the oat linen um, and then I also got two covers this is the ember one which is so pretty I'm like obsessed with this color and then I got the sky which is also gorgeous so yay I'm so so excited about this I will definitely show all of this stuff in more detail in my baby haul that's coming up do you think my belly is big? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Whoa! Yours might be a little bigger than mine. You think yours is bigger than mine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a cute little tiny little belly. Can you say hi to baby brother? Hi baby brother. Say I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. So it is a little past 7 p.m. and Alex and Camden just left to go over to my in-laws house they live super close to us and pretty much every friday night alex will um stop working a little bit early which is like 6 30 slash 7 um that's early for him but he'll stop working and he will take camden over to my in-laws to play for a little bit and then that gives me time to just have me time so usually i will either take a bubble bath or um just kind of relax, chill out. Usually when I'm not pregnant, I will have like a big glass of wine, but I can't do that right now. I've been watching this new show recently. It's called The Act. It's on Hulu. And I think there's only been a couple episodes so far, but it is crazy. And it's a true story about um, Dee Dee and Gypsy. So it's this mom and her daughter. She made her daughter believe that she was severely ill and very, very sick when she wasn't just so she could have like control over her for forever and have her like live with her and have to like have to have her daughter be dependent on her mom and like all this crazy stuff like this woman like this mom is absolutely crazy but um the show is very interesting and I'm really into it. So if you guys need a new show to watch, definitely check out The Act on Hulu and give me any recommendations for some new shows that I should start on Netflix or Hulu. Um, leave them down below. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here and say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And that is it, bye. You know the drama.